What up? This is Machine Gun Kelly, and right now you are watching Stashed, bitch. Like old friends. My big screen debut is in Beyond the Lights, uh, which releases this Friday. Um, I play a character named Kid Culprit, and he's basically like kind of like the bad love interest slash boyfriend of this huge rising pop star who has no idea how to cope with fame and. She's kind of, she's like at a crossroad between being herself and then being what's going to sell. So, I mean, it's an interesting view on the industry and it's, it's, it's a cool movie because in a day and age of being a hoe and where being a hoe is cool and like being a hoe is like highly touted, it kind of shows off that being in love is cool. So it's kind of a, you know, it kind of goes against what is in the mainstream right now, which is cool. And that's why I was happy to be a part of it. And, you know, my character's a bad guy, which I'm good at. Yeah, I was always around. I was always the kid with, like, the camera in school who was, like, filming everything. Like, I was always, like, filming and filming. And it started out with filming, like, jackass stunts. I was, like, really inspired by that riff when I was a kid. Like, I loved everything about that. And then it just moved from jackass one. Uh, we did some wild stuff, man. We, like, I, I think we did some stuff where we, I mean, it's a statue. I don't even care if the statue of limitations. <laughs> I think we, like, broke into, I'm not even going to say this. Um, but, uh, I'm trying to think what was some... I jumped into like a dumpster of like Taco Bell nacho, nacho cheese one time off of like a mini trampoline. Other times we jumped off like my middle school roof into like the bushes. But the bushes we jumped into were like these fancy, expensive, like specially installed bushes. So uh, all of our parents had to pay up for the damage that we did. So I remember that was a, that was a good times. Ours was called Dumb Bunny though, not Jackass. We were on the Dumb, the dumb Bunny squad. <laughs> Yeah, the two films I have coming out in 2015, uh, one's, a, one's a horror movie, which they said might turn into a thriller because I add, like, comic relief. Like, my character is, like, the comic relief in that film, but I think that I added more comic relief than anticipated, so I think it went from, like, a horror film to, like, more of, like, a solid balance between, you know, so more of, like, a thriller. And the guys who did uh, Parano The Paranormals and who also did Catfish, they did this this one and you know they're really cool and, and awesome to work with and then I did the follow-up movie to SLC Punk which is Punk's Dead you know that was like a cult classic and the same writer and director is doing this one and uh, my character's name is Crash and I'm a gutter punk I think outside of like the natural charisma they're two totally different lanes between acting and music because like one you're a character that like you don't have to I guess you do have to think of the creative. I was going to say that you don't have to think of the creative because the lines are already there for you. But I guess it's about how you deliver the lines and, and how you make those lines your own. The character that I play in Beyond the Lights isn't too far off from who I am as a person. So I think that was more just like me just bringing a certain cockiness to the screen that I don't carry around with myself in real life. But um, yeah, I don't know, man. Machine Gun Kelly is so much different than an actor. Like, I like, yeah, I don't know. Machine Gun Kelly is like, my guy. Oh, yo, the premiere in Cleveland was so fucking sick. It was, like, I'm talking about the whole hood came out, the whole theater was packed, fans came out, family came out, my daughter was sitting next to me. Uh, all, like, the radio personalities came out. Um, anytime we popped on the screen, like everyone would stand up and was screaming, going crazy. We got a standing ovation at the end. There's a song that me and a bunch of other Cleveland artists did that I got in the movie. That like I got them to play in the movie. It's called Ratchet. And so like when that play, that's like a Cleveland classic. So like when they when that when they heard that in the theater, it was just like this immediate like burst of energy and everyone was spazzing out. You know, because a lot of people that you know never even made it off out of their block damn near is like in a song in a major motion picture so it was just it was a it was a sick moment man and then just you know I, this one this one of my homies came up and commented to me he was like man i love when you guys come home and just like bring like this crazy hope to you know to, to the city and to 
cool. It was, it was, just, it was just cool, man. It was just like bigger than the movie. I think it was just like the action of like someone who everyone watched come up from, you know, the neighborhood, like make it to somewhere like that, you know. So I was like, fucking, I don't know that clip. I, I, I was in the club from Friday to fucking Monday, dude. I don't think I left. I'm dead serious. I think like the only time I left was to go to the premiere. I was, I was out, man. I was having the time of my fucking life. I think I spent my whole bank account on liquor. Yeah, we filmed a video to my new single called Till I Die. It's like the first single off the second album. It's kind of like a, a precursor first single. I don't know if it's like the official, official first single, but it's definitely a, the street single and the video is so fucking G. It's like, we just, it's like a, it's like a documentary on like Cleveland, I feel like, just the way it's shot, but it's just taking you to the jungle and it's sick because people that don't fuck with these other people all came together just for that video and you're gonna see that and the people in the city are appreciated and the people from outside the city are gonna see this shit for how it really is in our town which is like it's fucking wild in the same way people view Chicago and Detroit I mean we're fucking neighbors you know what I mean it's the same shit's going on there first week of December yeah yeah I haven't announced that but I just did so first week of December is uh, when we'll see Till I Die and the video on the sophomore album you hear a lot of like live instrumentation I got a chance to play some guitar on this album. Uh, me and Wiz did another joint for this album. Um, you know, we had like a, like that mind of a stoner was like a, popped off, man. It's, it's one of my favorite records to do live now. And just, I just didn't, I just didn't expect, because mind of a stoner was out a year before it just hit like this huge, like incline out of nowhere. I think that's after we dropped the video, but yeah, me and him went back and redid it. Uh, Another one of those, and um, the rest of the album is still kind of, I mean, it's, it's pretty much done, but as far as like features and stuff goes, all it's being like figured out, and I'm just waiting for the right vibes, if if any more features, but you get, in, in Cleveland right now, you can just feel that there's like money coming back in the city, our downtown looks like a real fucking downtown now. Um, I can cuss in this interview, right? Because I've done a, okay, I'm just making sure I've done a, a good job of this, I mean, fuck, I five words. Uh, and, and the other thing is like, you know, like the, the, the radio station has, you know, new personalities and, and local music flowing now and then, uh, shit, we're, we're about to drop. The Browns are number one right now. Uh, just so much, so much stuff, dude, but I'm really, when Till I Die drops, that's going to be like the anthem that gives, that's going to make everything go full, full circle because we got the sports, we got the city, like the, like the, the the landscaping and all that stuff like that going on, everything's coming back, and now we just need that like anthem to give us all that soundtrack to. And so, I, so till I die is that anthem. Here to relive.